scrappy people, Tracy Reed here today, coming at you with an unboxing of my brand new Moonlit collection. I am so stoked on this collection, you don't even know. It came out so perfectly, exactly what I envisioned. Um, it is a Summer Nights collection, although I will say it doesn't have to be Summer Night. It would work really great for concerts, fireworks shows, um, sunsets on the beach, <laughs> any kind of like hippy-dippy, stardust moon worship kind of stuff. Um, anything like that you can do at night or that has like fluorescent lighting or, you know, like eating on the patio, that kind of stuff. Doesn't necessarily have to be summer, although there are definitely summer references as well. So let's talk about the concept of this beyond the icons. So I really wanted this collection to glow. And because of that, a lot of it is based on the dark black or um, darker purple and blue colors. There's a ton of purple in this collection, which I know can be hit or miss, but I think it works so effectively in this collection that you're going to love it. So you can see the glowing sort of vibe already, just looking at what I have displayed here. Just like every single one of my collections, it comes with two sets of, uh, of cards, a set of Traveler's Notebook signatures, 20 patterns in um, pattern card, four by six or three by four, Traveler's Notebook size, which is 4.25 by 8.25, or of course, 12 by 12s. For the printable cards, if a um, pattern has a certain orientation, then you get that on the print sheets in both orientations, so you don't have to think about it. If you want, um, you know, specific, if you wanted a, a vertical of this, where is the other? Where is the vertical? That's the question. If you wanted a vertical of this moon file, uh, it's already going to be there for you. Here it is. It's already going to be there for you. You don't have to worry about creating your own cut sheets. Of course, you get both three by four, four by three, four by six, and six by four on all of the individual files as well. So let's go through the patterns for this collection. Again, everything is supposed to be super glowy, very um, lit fluorescent kind of a thing. So that is the vibe we're going for. So you can see how these flowers sort of glow off of the paper. This floral is so gorgeous. Probably one of my favorite florals I've ever designed. And then of course we have um, tonal papers as well, just to tone down the collection and make sure that you have very usable papers. So this is a pink diamond. Now there is not, there is pink, orange, and yellow in this collection because this is basically, uh, if you think about it this way, well, here we go, if you think about it this way, it is sort of fading into the night sky, right, as a sunset. So that was the vibe that I was going for. So there is pink and orange and yellow in this collection, although it is not the majority of the collection. So here is the stripe for the collection. You will also notice that there's a lot of painterly elements in this collection, a lot of watercolor vibes. Um, you can tell in the texture that everything is supposed to look a little bit painted, a little bit, um, well, a lot of it textured, not necessarily distressed, but painted. So this actually comes in two different patterns. Um, they're the same in the background, although you can choose with and without the palm trees. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we also have a firefly night sky you can see the glowing fireflies in the background you can see more of that watercolor sort of there's like a um bokeh 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 i'm not sure in the background some so some darker spots and some lighter spots as well love this paper with the little mason jars so cute here is an actual night sky this is one of the first papers i designed and it actually gave me the most trouble until i figured out uh, what I wanted and now it's one of my favorites. So we have some um, in the 12 by 12 You get a little bit more of these like planets and, and shooting stars and stuff But you can see all of the the twinkling stars and the moon in the background and I love this beautiful blue to yellow ombre So we've got the the navy the purple the pink orange and yellow in this one Okay, we have suns because even though it is moonlit, we have setting suns and you can see, I don't know if you can see, inside the suns there are little tiny moons. <laughs> now, okay, <laughs> this paper I know is not exactly 
moonlighty. Although it does give me sort of like that sequiny skirt vibe, but of course it's mermaid scales, but I could not resist it because look at how gorgeous it is. Look at the beautiful ombre in each scale. They're all multicolored. It is just so cool. So if you went to go see the little mermaid like me, this would be a good one for that as well. I think I'm going to use it for the pictures of my mom and I seeing the little mermaid, um, which was in a dark movie theater. So that works really well anyway, right? <laughs> we have a teal starburst with little stars love love the vibe of this collection of course we have a night sky so I don't normally do photorealistic stuff but I could not resist this gorgeous gorgeous paper I just I designed it with all like the clouds and the the moon and the stars in the background just from like my own imagination and it just made me so happy so even though it's a little bit different than my norm it is so beautiful and I can't wait to use it so this one is actually one paper, but um, I've included both of these in your um, traveler's notebook so that, or the traveler's notebook size papers, obviously as a 12 by 12, it just comes like this, but in the traveler's notebook papers, it comes with both sides so that if you wanted to create a traveler's notebook spread that has the uh, shooting star across the whole page, you can do that very easily. <sighs> So because of that and because of the alternates with the palm trees, you actually get 22 papers on the printable um, Traveler's Notebook size. Here is another night sky. We've got the black to purple ombre with just some nice delicate stars in the background. Uh, so you've got that pattern going on, but also it's really um, subtle, so it's easy to use. If we have the suns, we have to have moons as well. So this striping in this paper, I think actually... Uh, was just the what the printer did, but I didn't notice it till I started cutting. So this like striping in here is not actually on the paper. I apologize that I didn't have it reprinted, um, but it is just a blue paper. But some of these darker papers, uh, the printer did that, and I'm not quite sure why. It's kind of annoying, <laughs> but we have that blue on blue moon. Okay, so the plaid in this collection gave me the most trouble of the whole collection, and that is because I initially had it based on white and I was like no we can't have a white based plaid because this is a nighttime collection and once I made it based on black and had like this sort of glowing vibe with this plaid it just came out so perfectly and it looks so cool we had to have some bokeh with a ombre so we've got teal blue pink purple love that it's very easy paper to use then we have palm leaves and they're sort of glowing in their own right, but then there are little glow spots all over the paper as well. Almost like fireflies fluttering around. And then last, well, second, ah, no, gosh, we have way more papers in here than I, than I thought, <laughs> even though it's a normal part. The extra two papers threw me off a little bit. Anyway, so here are some little subtle stars, purple stripe, love, love, love this. Then we have blue. So again, this pink is not on the actual print. I'm gonna have to have it reprinted, but we have a blue um, plaid and then an alternate floral as well. So cute. So here's the actual color palette. So we got pink, orange, yellow, three, uh, three teals, three blues and three purples. So you can create your own ombre effect with your own papers if you wanted to. Okay, next, let's check out the Traveler's Notebook signatures. Okay, I was so confused there for a second, sorry. Um, okay, so this is the Traveler's Notebook signatures. They are Traveler's Notebook size. They come with a variety of journaling cards, uh, designer cards like this, and alternate colorways for patterns. So this one has the... Uh, fireworks shooting up and it says oh what a night a journaling card with a ombre I love this one we've got the bokeh in the backgrounds as well as the fireflies and the um, little yellow dots that are like fireflies in the background this says this moment is ours an alternate stripe so this one is black and white with color uh, crossing it instead of this one which is 
multicolored, and we've got white stripes. So different, same but different. We've got a, uh, the rainbow burst, that the shooting star trail. Alternate for, our, for that teal paper, we've got orange and pink and yellow. Journaling card with an alternate for those mermaid scales. A very simple teal pattern. This is an alternate for the star paper. This one's just tonal. Journaling card with a rainbow ombre journaling grid. And then those stars or suns along the side. So there's also a lot of references in this collection to music and concerts. So you can go concert under the stars or just, you know, regular concerts. So this says live music and you can also get a little hint of the, um, the sort of glowing fluorescent vibe that is really apparent in the digital kit. And you'll see that when we switch over there, but we have some on the cards as well. An alternate floral on this beautiful light purple. And then those summer nights, and it says not heights because I can't say those summer nights without singing Grease. So it says not heights. <laughs> Don't excuse my singing voice, but that's what it says. And then we've got the constellations in the background from the regular paper, um, but or from the constellation paper, but it is black and white. Okay, let's look at the journaling cards next. So there are two sets of journaling cards, two four by sixes, eight three by fours in each one. Uh, I believe this is set one, this is set two. So let's look at set one first. So here are the two four by six cards. We've got unforgettable moments with those fireworks and then a journaling card with the um, shooting star rainbow and then some stars over it. We are all stardust under the stars. Hot summer nights with more of that glowing neon. I love these sunglasses as well. Journaling card, why do I feel like there's two? There is. Here's two different journaling cards. We've got our adorable little fireflies and then some labels. Cheers with our summery drinks. And then our monthly card that we get every month, this one says July. And you'll notice if you've been collecting these that most of the time they're on white, but this time I switched it around because it is a nighttime collection. So the letters are white and the background is that beautiful bouquet ombre. And then set number two, up all night. I already have a photo for this one. I'm gonna be doing using this card for tomorrow's Instagram hop. So we're starting a new thing tomorrow. We'll have the YouTube hop on Sunday and an Instagram hop on Saturday. And the Instagram hop has, uh, we let chat GPT define our, um, our prompts for this collection and it, the, the results are amazing and hilarious at the same time. So I'm gonna be using that for that. So then this says making magical memories under the moonlight. <laughs> Had to get that alliteration in there. The fun won't stop when the sun starts to drop. Journaling card. I think it's supposed to be that way, actually. Although it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you could use it either way. Dream concert. Again, with that glowing fluorescent neon. Some lanterns. I love these labels so you can cut them apart or you can use them as is. Give me s'more summer, please. Had to have a shout out to campfires and s'mores, of course. And then lastly, we have everything is magical under the stars and late night laughs. So again, late night, nighttime, not necessarily summer, but we do spend the most time outside in the summer. So that makes sense. So here I have the stickers so these are the stickers for the collection and these are actually printed out embellishments from the digital kit so let's take out the stickers first so instead of um you know sorting through like this i'm actually going to show you how they come straight out the box now they don't have the silhouette cut lines but they are designed to very easily be put in silhouette put these cut lines on yourself and this is exactly how they look in the PDF in the PNGs. So this is, there are three sheets of course, this is sheet number two. So let's look at sheet number one. 
Sheet number one has all of the word bits and the journal bits in the collection or in the sticker set. So we've got Gimme S'more, Under the Stars, Chasing Fireflies, Dreamy, Stay Wild, Moonchild, Catch a Concert, Watch the Sunset, Easy Breezy, Stargazing, The Night is Young, Late Night Laughter, bunch of journaling bits, and then Light Up the Night, Nighttime Swim, Magical Memories, Starry Nights, Midsummer Bliss, Shooting Stars, Play That Song I Like. Then we have some titles and the florals on this page. And you can see that the stickers, a lot of the stickers are black backed rather than white backed. And that's because, um, like I said, this collection is supposed to be nighttime related. So it just felt right. Not all of the stickers, like these are not black backed, but a lot of the stickers have a black border instead of a white one. So we've got Summer Nights, Enchanted, Enchanting Evening, Under the Night Sky, Catching Fireflies, Gorgeous Sunsets. We've got a smattering of all of these really fun sequins that I drew, some um, musical notes, and then of course all of the florals, palm tree. This is a really fun border and some hanging lights. Then the last page has the other icons in the collection. So this really cute ombre guitar, which will get a lot of use around my house. And we've got the lanterns, we've got all three drinks, the um, mason jar with the fireflies. We've got some fireflies and some stars, some shooting stars, the glasses, comets, planets, bonfire, stick for roasting marshmallows, and also the s'more itself. So lots of fun icons in this collection to play with. I love this little cloud with the stars. So cute. So then I wanted to show you these, what I did with these as well. So we're gonna hop over to the computer and look at the, um, the digital kit, but I wanted to show you a couple of things that I've done with the digital kit because what I get asked a lot is, can I print the digital kit? And the answer is, of course, yes, you can. Um, the difference between the digital kit and the stickers is the different kinds of textures that there are um, and what's included. So you might get the same icons, but they're different. So we've got some layered flowers here. So you can see the palm tree is gonna be bigger and this is actually resized down, but uh, the palm tree is bigger and it's glittery, faux glittery. You can see that the, the um, guitar is wood grain. So I have made these cut sheets myself from the digital embellishments, uh, what I wanted to print and cut from them. So that's what's in here. So I've got both frames from the digital kit as well as the wood veneer music pieces. And then I printed a bunch of the florals and the um, palm leaves from this collection because my idea was I printed them in a couple different sizes. So you can see that the larger ones are over here. Then we've got some smaller ones too. And I printed both the individual and the ones with the leaves because I figured I could layer over these individual flowers over the layered ones already and maybe even include some of these smaller ones on top of it so that I could get a, a real life dimensional effect. You can see all of this is faux glitter. I can add real glitter to it if I want to um, but I, this will give me more options for dimensional stuff so I can create real layered flowers. So I also have all of these sequins as well that I printed basically at enamel dot size and I might use my glossy accents to um, make them enamel dot-ish, I'm not sure yet. And then so I have some titles from the collection as well. So let's hop over to the computer so that you can see what the digital kit looks like and the rest of the embellishments in the digital kit. And I'm actually gonna show you before we do that, one more sneak peek. This is a sneak peek at my uh, YouTube hop layout that is going to be a the third edition of my um, Think Outside the 12 by 12 series and we're going to be talking about mixed media so i have printed some of the mixed media from the digital kit along with some of the glowing um, fluorescent things as well as like the title as one piece so we're going to add real mixed media we're going to add digital mixed media i'm going to show you how to do that on um, sunday for the youtube hop that that is going to be episode three in the think outside the 12 by 12 series so let's go over and hop into the digital kit 
So here's the preview for the Moonlit Digital Kit. You can see there is a lot of beautiful glowing neon, a lot of gorgeous glitter. We've got chipboard, we've got cork, we've got layered stickers, realistic flowers, realistic rickrack and ribbons, some butterflies in there as well because I couldn't resist. There's puffy stickers, there's enamel, there's all kinds of textures in this kit. And you can see just how magical the whole thing looks together. Oh, it's one of my favorites in recent memory. And also it is the follow-up or the sister kit to Sunkiss, which also has some glowing neon as well. And they will, they don't, you know, they're not the same color palette, but they complement each other really well. So the Moonlit Digital Collection is on sale for our summer kickoff sale. It's more than 25% off. I think we're doing 40% off. So if you are interested in picking it up, I suggest you do it this weekend while it is on super sale. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy and Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. There is a link to the Moonlight Collection in the description box below. And also don't miss our Instagram hop and our YouTube hop coming up tomorrow. And the next day so you can get super inspired for this collection. All right, thank you.